for oral answer. And the first question stands in the name of Dr Cam Calder. Thank you, Mr Speaker. To the Minister for Social Development and Employment, what reports has she seen on the latest benefit numbers? The Hon. Paula Bennett. Mr Speaker, the March numbers have been released today. There are now 331,529 people receiving a benefit. This number fell by 12,531 during March. Um, down 3.6% from February, most of that being students, um, Mr Speaker, but general unemployment benefit dropped by 4,368 as well. And while it is encouraging to see another drop in benefit numbers, I want to caution uh, against getting too optimistic on the basis of these figures. Dr Cam Calder. Uh, supplementary to the Minister, do reports show any improvement for young people? The Hon. Paula Bennett. Uh, Mr Speaker, yes, reports indicate that young people are beginning to move off the unemployment benefit faster than the overall reduction of the unemployment benefit. The number of young people decreased, decreased by 4% um, in the year, uh, to the year of March, but to, and it's now at 18,398, a fall of nearly 2,000. And while 4% may not seem like much, um, after increases of 66% and 187%, um, in the previous two years, it is positive to see um, some change in that number. Dr Cam called it. To the Minister, what reports has she seen on the availability of hardship assistance? The Hon. Paula Bennett. Um, Mr Speaker, the Government is paying twice as many special need grants um, than in 2008. So in March 2008, 3.7 million was spent on special need grants. In March 2011, uh, there was 7.2 million spent. Uh, benefit advances are also up around 30% for um, March. So in March 08, 7.9 million was spent in advances and forwarded. In March 11, it was 12.2 million. And so while some might disagree that that number is too high and we shouldn't be advancing given those grants, I do think it proves that the help is there where people need it. The, question the Honourable Annette King. Can she confirm the unemployment benefit numbers showed um, almost the same drop at this period last year as they have in their latest figures? But then they continued to climb throughout 2010, and can she guarantee that won't be the pattern in 2011? The Honourable Paula Bennett. Uh, Mr Speaker, as indicated, um, the March fall is kind of expected. We're seeing students go back. We're also seeing um, the usual decrease due to seasonal work. But what I have indicated is in previous years we've seen a dramatic increase, and what we have seen in the last 12 months is actually then go down slightly. So I, I'm hoping that we've sort of slowed the flow. Question number two.